trailblazing, inspiring. That's Captain Rosemary Mariner. The doors that she opened, the battles that she fought on our behalf, and the fact that I'm able to stand here today as a combat aviator. Captain Mariner was the first female jet pilot in the Navy. She was also one of the first women to serve aboard a U.S. Navy warship. Now, in true pioneering fashion, she'll be the first to have an all-female flyover at her funeral. Each participating pilot is from right here in Hampton Roads. I think as, as female aviators, we stand on the shoulders of giants, certainly as combat aviators, and Rosemary Mariner was one of those giants. Before spreading their wings and heading to Tennessee for the service, a lot of practice needs to take place. For the flyover itself, the coordination piece, we have to be overhead at a certain time, down to the second. They'll be conducting a missing man flyover, or as they like to say, a missing woman flyover. The four aircrafts will fly over the funeral, and then one will leave the formation and fly vertically towards heaven. One last nod to a brave legend. It's their last flight and is symbolic of them departing the flight uh, on, their, on their final mission. One thing the pilot said over and over again today was that this weekend when they're flying these F-18 Super Hornets, they know Captain Mariner will be with them in spirit. And afterwards, I think we'll really be able to relish in the moment, be able to experience all the emotions and feelings that are, are surrounding this weekend, and, and rightfully so. Even in death at 65 years old, her accomplishments are still making strides on behalf of women pilots. In Virginia Beach, Aaron Miller, News 3.